日本語ちょっと話します。<笑>ああ、すごいね。<笑> Welcome to another episode of the Bertie Bang Show, where it is all about connecting creatives, artists, musicians, and their stories to you. Today, my guest is violinist Fumiaki Miura. At the age of 16, he won the International Hanover Violin Competition, making him the youngest winner in history for that competition. In this episode, we talk about the importance of practicing Bach, and we also dive into his techniques and strategies for having the advantage in a competition.、Um, at the time of this recording, the game Pokemon Go just came out, so please excuse my banter with him at the beginning. Other than that, I think you'll find this episode pretty useful. So please enjoy Fumiaki Miura. Hey guys, today we have an exceptional violinist from the land of Pikachu sushis. And、um, actually, you know what, Fumiaki? How about you introduce yourself before I start embarrassing myself?、Um, okay. You could tell everyone where you're from and、yeah. what you do. So, my name is Fumiaki Miura. I'm from Tokyo.、Um, I was born in 1993 and、uh, I play the violin,、uh, sometimes viola too. And、hmm. now, yeah. That's, okay. That's and, how I do. And、like、this is our first time talking to each other, just、okay. for the listeners out there. Before、yeah. we get into the questions, first of all, thank you so much for joining the podcast.、Um, I have to ask、yes. you about something. Yeah. If you had to describe the, your violin sound, what type of Pokemon would you relate it to? <laughs> <laughs> well, just, just, for, just for FYI, guys, we、yeah. did talk about Pokemon before this started. Yeah, that, that's a very good question. But I.、Um, Actually, I like to play、um, the sound like sometimes,、uh, like Lizardon. You have Lizardon, right?、Mm-hmm. Lizardon. It's the, I don't know how, how, do you, how do you call them, I know. In,、uh, or Kamex. You have Kamex. Kamex.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are, are these the new ones? <laughs> I think that, no, no, that's the kind of the oldest ones who h a s like、um, hydro pump. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The, okay. How do you call them?、Uh, like Kamex? I like the Kamex.、Mm. The best. Well, the smallest one is called Squirtle in English. I, exactly. The, yeah, yeah. Oh, Blastoise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, big, that's big, right. Yeah, that's right. okay. So Kamex is the yeah, Japanese version. Yeah, and also li- Lizardon. You have Lizardon. Lizardon. Or、What? Lizardon. It's the red one who had a fire. Ah, Charizard. Fire Charizard. Charizard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there we go. That's it.、Well, These of... are my kind of. Yeah, you know, that sometimes, you know, on the, the water kind of,、uh, you know, the smooth,、uh, you know, kind of.、Uh, I don't know how to, how to describe, but <laughs> maybe. I would have、uh, sometimes, you know, like,、uh, like a storm, you know, like, like、mm-hmm. uh, uh, also sometimes on the, you know, like a fire, you know. Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know myself, you know, how, I, how I sound, you know, but I,、um, yeah, just, you know, but I can, I can tell that, you know, I, I'd have, I'd have a lot of、uh, different, Uh, colors, you know,、mm-hmm. like you know, because you, you can see、mm-hmm. uh, there are many Pokemon s that you know, very different characters and、mm-hmm. uh, different, different uh, uh, colors, you know, as you see, and it's yeah, it's nice. Well, I love it. We're just talking about, talking about Pokemon now, trying to link it to <laughs> violence kind of out of nowhere.、Uh, apologies <laughs> for that, guys, but let's get also.、Uh, sorry, there's another question I want to ask is. Oh. If you didn't become a violinist, what would it be? What would you be? Um, I think uh, I would, you know, I would become a baseball player. Baseball player? 
Yeah, I used to play baseball when I was when I was little, and I also loved watching games and and you know I I had uh, I had luck to uh, to be to be part uh, to 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 participate in their in their like a little league like a like a team you mm-hmm. know the kids team and I played uh, like once a week uh, you know games you know like against two different school uh, children's and wow. I, I really love that you know yeah there you go and what's your warm-up routine for violin <laughs> every day if, if um yeah, I practice everyday scales. Mm-hmm. This is what I continue since 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 little and mm-hmm. um, and also some Bach. Uh, not not the same every day, but different pieces by Bach. Right. That's that's my warm up actually. Yeah. Um. Why Bach? Just. It's it's you know the Bach actually has a lot of uh, good exercises. Of course, it's you know if you think about Bach music, it's just you know oh my god. But um, also on the other hand, uh, for your right hand, mm-hmm. uh, there are a lot of uh, good exercises, especially uh, like quicker ones. You know like. Um, like presto or uh, a jig or i don't know you know some some very nice uh, exercises for for right hand but it's a combination also you know like if you practice a fug uh, you know there there are a lot of calls so also for your left hand also you, you can make a little stretch and i love to to, to continue that also uh, you know it's also different but uh, a few pieces by Paganini Caprice is also nice you know. but these are like kind of um, you know my uh, I, I practice this definitely every day I take like 45 minutes or 50, 50 minutes on on this wow okay. so that yeah on this that i can then i feel better it's mm-hmm. like you know before before yeah just warming up you know before the tennis players or or the foot pre- football players they they are doing their you know kind of their own uh, exercises like you know just running or you know the stretch stretching or you know yeah yeah so and, and yeah. Do you, have you played all the Bach s- solos, sonatas, petitas. Uh, actually, not in front of the audience, but I run whole uh, partitas and sonatas. Yeah, myself. I play. I play Bach like every day at home. But I, I don't know. Now I feel like not for the audience yet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this this is very interesting. You know, I was having this conversation with a friend the other day. Yeah. It's interesting uh, how. In the last century, everyone was recording Bach. Yeah. But today, Not there seems many, to be huh? no one would record a Bach. Uh, do you think this is because it's well, all been done, or is it more of a personal thing that you mm, feel like it's not ready yet or something? Could you explain on that? Yeah. You know, first of all, I can tell you that um, it's very hard to, to pray alone. You know, uh, this is not only for Bach, but uh, also for Isai uh, or Paganini. These are the same kind of uh, um, uh, difficulties uh, for me to pray alone on mm-hmm. stage. Uh, because, you know, if you play the sonatas or the show pieces, you have uh, mostly you have pianists. And that's already very different. And also it's very, maybe as you said, for for our generation, I mean, not our generation maybe, but 
uh, I mean, today musicians, today violinists, uh, don't really record all Bach because mm -hmm. uh, it's it's uh, you know maybe could be quite risky because there are already like great masters recorded as uh, you know. We can tell Schelling, Henrik Schelling, or uh, Nathan mm -hmm. Muirstein, Isaac Parman, um, you know, old, you know, like old masters already recorded, and it's so, so known as greatest Bach recordings. But um, I actually personally would love to record maybe one day. Or Bach because um, it's you know first of all it's a great music it's yeah. a really great for Bach partitas sonatas um, but I'm I'm not sure when or you know because you know anyways I practice this every day mm -hmm. but now I don't feel now I play on stage or now I record this series. Uh, maybe someday I hope, um, you know, this timing would come. Yeah, right. Is for it for me to, to yeah? I is, know. is it like sorry to cut you off there, but I'm just wondering: is it more of a maybe? I don't know. Maybe it's one of those things where you feel like you haven't had your own own interpretations on it or is it yeah I mean, the interpretations you know anyways not only for Bach but it changes all the time so hmm. maybe maybe you know it's sometimes you know I feel like this is it or or you know maybe you know the next day it changes also so right yeah, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> when okay. when I have something uh, kind of a big, when I make big decision on my normal life, you know, maybe on the on the same time, maybe I'll do the back recording. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so if you had to recommend one movement of Bach for a non musician to listen to, who's never to, actually to listen to to listen to, oh, who has never played or heard Bach before, what would oh, you recommend? maybe I. I would recommend the partita number three. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know, How image about? because this is, uh, I think, most of uh, uh, violinists start with, you know, on Bach. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did, but um, and it's quite. Uh, if you compare to others, I, I think it's easier to listen. To yeah. to this, you know, it's and shorter, <laughs> mm -hmm. and yeah, and you have the same uh, famous uh, the gavot, yeah, right, yeah. Oh, I was waiting for you to sing the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, and let's say there was a violinist listening to us right now. Yeah. And they wanted to learn a Bach. Would you also recommend the third Petita, the e major one? Yeah, I guess so. And, or, or, yeah. um, or uh, Sonata Number One. Just yeah. Sonata Number One. I, I the, just, yeah. Also, the you you have uh, the a very difficult Hug and mm -hmm. Presto. Mm -hmm. On this, this sonata in this sonata, so it's I think it's very good also, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to to make your uh, basement the base on 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 playing the violin. Yeah. Right, and yeah. how? Let's say you you picked a bark you want to learn. Um, yeah. How do you tackle it? How do you start <clears throat> learning it? Where do you go? Where do you start? Um. Yeah. Um, First, I decide all bowing fingerings. It's mm -hmm. very, very important. Uh, this is also um, uh, very important to uh, 
you know, to play it cleaner and um, also, you know, a musically um, that uh, to play it actually to have uh, the right, very correct uh, bowings and fingerings. Mm-hmm. This is what I learned from my old teachers. Uh, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, you <laughs> you cheat also, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's also important, you know, to when you listen to it yourself, it's very important. Because sometimes it's so uncomfortable, uh, you know, the cause especially on Bach, so you really have to think uh, right fingerings mm-hmm. for Bach, especially. So I start with uh, thinking of, uh, you know, the bowings and fingerings, uh, you know, to pray it, uh, you know, really comfortable. Yep. And then so, after that, yeah. what are the processes after that? After that, you know, because I'm thinking the fingerings uh, and bowings also, uh, you know, uh, for the music, for music, you know, mm-hmm. for for the music, you know, and uh, uh, which actually, you know, the the right fingerings and bowings makes it uh, more easier, easier, you know, so that. Um, uh then i i think about you know uh of course the phrase you know the you know ways the biggest mountain mm-hmm. and you know and where it should be the end of the phrase and you know like just of course you have to pray and i sometimes uh you know uh and then I make the metronome because oh, yeah. it's everyone's you know, favorite. The, yeah, it's a it's a rhythm. You know, rhythm is so important. So, uh, you know, in 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 the rhythm, I can make uh, you know, you know, sometimes of course a very slow tempo. I make you know to to make music uh, clearly, you know, the interpretation clearly, and um, yeah, like that. I do. Okay, let's go 180 degrees. I want to talk about yeah. the Hanover, as I say right, Hanover International Violin Competition yeah. that you did when you right. were 16. Yeah, I was uh, 16, yeah. It's funny because they were, the footages on YouTube, I'll put in the show notes, were the first videos oh, I yeah. saw you perform. Oh, yeah. That's when I first saw you perform. This was, oh, great. like, <laughs> I don't know how many years that ago. Was, I was- I don't know. Yeah. yeah, right. Maybe it was uh, already. I am now twenty three, so yeah, already seven seven years, years before six yeah, years, six seven, years, six, six, seven years, oh, yeah, seven six, years, seven, six seven, six seven, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've lost my right. name. I remember, <laughs> I remember um, watching you play and thinking, this guy is one year younger than me. He's playing <laughs> like this. <laughs> and I was getting uh, seriously. You really motivated me back then to play. Still, I still do. I was just I was like, oh my god. Um, could you <laughs> explain yeah. just what the process felt like? Um, how you felt about the whole competition? Oh yeah, yeah. And That's, how you pre- like, yeah. I I, I guess um, I didn't really um, think um, that this is a competition that time you know I yeah until that time I only had some competition experiences or uh, in the kind of junior junior sections you know like mm-hmm. uh, at the Menuhin competition or when I was uh, 12 no 13 I was 13 <laughs> yeah because that for for junior you know yeah. I, Junior section is, I think, until uh, 16, 17 that time. But I was uh, 16 and, um, oh, no, no, 13, mm-hmm. sorry. And there I got a second prize. Mm-hmm. And then I didn't really take any competitions that, uh, you know, of course, I I had to, to make, uh, you know, 
more repertoires or you know also and uh, uh, just you know to be kind of uh, better violinist, you know, to become better violinist. I was just having lessons with my first teacher uh, in, in Tokyo. His name is uh, Tokunaga. And um, then I was talking uh, with with my teacher and my, my parent that maybe um, now why not to why not to see the kind of the levels of of the you know young violinists in the world, and that's what my teacher told me. And then we were look we were looking for um, some competitions in that year, two thousand nine, mm-hmm. and there was a Hanover competition, and it says like uh, from sixteen years old you can participate. Okay. <laughs> and you're the youngest winner in history, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, it it was like uh, I don't know now for now, but uh, that time it was like uh, from sixteen to to thirty two or thirty thirty one or thirty two. You know that that's the uh, limit for you know for for the ages. And uh, so I I I I asked my teacher, you know, maybe this is. Uh, Maybe this competition is nice, you know, and uh, the repertoires are kind of, uh, you know, a lot of pieces. But I I found in this competition, it's uh, more free. There are more free ch- uh, choices mm-hmm. that you can make. And, uh, you know, for example, in the second second uh, round, you, you can you can choose uh, like one hour reciter yourself. Wow. Okay. So free so, choice. Anything you want. Yeah. 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 All right. So um, in the competition, I felt quite uh, uh, maybe not relaxed, but I had uh, I had a very good host family there. Mm-hmm. Also, so I was uh, quite lucky, and I could uh, kind of uh, uh, concentrate. Uh, quite concentrate on every round, and uh, and I could enjoy every round. Yeah. yeah. How do you manage your concentration? Um, if you remember back then, even now. Yeah. What, what are the one, maybe one or two, things that yeah. someone could take away? You know, these. Uh, <laughs> of course, uh, myself, I always think about what is the best. You know. Uh, before going on stage, mm-hmm. and I don't know yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, actually, when I was uh, 16 in Hanover, um, that time I didn't really know, uh, you know, the the nerve, nar- kind of nerves. the nerves, <laughs> yeah. you know, and uh, you know, I was just too young, you know. Yeah. Maybe I I was like, you know. Yeah, I just play, you know. Now I I would play well, or you know, it's just or, like yeah, Pokemon. Play well. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, right. Gym. You know, just just <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, and uh, I I want to play best. You know, yeah. today the best. And, uh, just simple, you know. But you know, after after six years now, you know, I feel like you know what is the best to to you know to uh, to do before you go on stage, and uh, I try. I, I'm trying to to do, uh, you know, a lot of things, not really special things, but um, you know, f- uh, for example, I, I would sleep a little bit uh, after the dress rehearsal, yeah, or you know, just normal things, you know, just you eat, uh, you know, chocolate or you know. The bananas, or, yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> just normal things. And now, at the age, I'm trying to to eat well before concert, mm-hmm. because this I didn't really do until this year, and oh, yeah. because because of uh, you know the nervous or 
you know, and I couldn't really eat. But, you know, I forced myself this year, I forced myself to to eat well before the concert. And, you know, and sometimes I, uh, I don't feel, you know, like now I'm, I want to eat like a big spaghetti or at least, you know, but I, I try to, you know, and I feel, yeah, it's now it's getting better. <laughs> getting better. Uh, you, yeah. This is very interesting. You said food. Is it just the food you eat before you perform or everything, yeah. including your diet in general this year? <laughs> no, I mean, this year I, you know, maybe because, you know, I I play with a lot of different musicians and uh, uh, some people really don't eat anything before mm -hmm. before a concert, but some people really eat a lot. And I thought, you know, this year, uh, you know, I as I remember maybe uh, my second concert in where was it? It was in in Europe somewhere. Um, I started, you know eat uh, like a big kind of I think I had uh, spaghetti because spaghetti is good you know the mm -hmm. this carbohydrate but yeah. it's it's very um, quickly becomes your energy mm -hmm. I heard I heard it's it's a very healthy yeah, yeah. Uh, you know you, you you play like 30 minutes concerto then you your stomach is empty again yeah, <laughs> it's incredible that happens. Oh yeah, yeah. So I, I thought it's maybe it's nice. Uh, I remember that I, I played the Shostakovich concerto, uh, first violin concerto, uh, you know. And before that, I had, uh, I had a quite big spaghetti. Uh, and then I, after concert, I felt like, wow, it, it was, it was good, you know, mm -hmm. and. Maybe then I started eating, you know, before concert. But now I don't know yet, you know. Um, I I believe that it's it's better now. But yeah, so maybe it's one, a bit of energy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, you're you know, you're nervous, mm -hmm. you know, when you play concert, you know. But I I can tell you when I was sixteen, I was not nervous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And now now like you know, every time it be you know. It becomes more, you know, kind of a big pressure. You know, you feel like different. You know, you, you, you know, besides, you know, you, you have uh, especially a new repertoire in the concerts. Oh, that's that's hard. You know. Wow. Okay. So it's it sounds like when you're young, ignorance is bliss. You don't know what's going on, and that's yeah, part. exactly. Um, okay. Yeah. And so let's say, uh, oh. There are plenty of musicians out there wanting to do competitions. Um, yeah. If, what, how would you recommend them prepare for it? And yeah, for, cons uh, for competition, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I remember that some uh, sometimes my teacher. That time I started uh, studying uh, in Europe in Vienna. Uh, with my teacher Pavel Vernikov mm -hmm. and you know the competition um, mostly I don't know um, you have to play uh, like uh, Bach or one Bach mm -hmm. or together with uh, Paganini Caprices mm -hmm. I can recommend, uh, definitely I can recommend uh, all young uh, uh, participants in, in, in the competition to prepare very well, more than concerto, that the, more than uh, pieces, uh, you know, I mean, the sorry, the, the Paganini or Bach more than Yes. Same so final or prioritize the bark and Paganini. Yeah, it's very important. You know, in that, that is you know the first uh, impression for for audience or for for jury. You know, it's very important to the first impression that you know, wow, this is good. This is you know, or very talented. Or you know, mm -hmm. if you hear the first note, you know, it's very important. You know, the people get, oh, this is something. 
So this is what I also learned from competition, you know. This is, um, I remember that when I won the uh, Hanover competition, mm -hmm. uh, some of juries told me that my video uh, uh, section, you know, the, uh, the video, uh, round actually the very very first uh, like yeah so pre preliminary pre when you pre send the recording in yeah exactly yeah the you know some of them told me that was really good so they remember that you know uh, so so they remember the first impressions carry on throughout the rest of the competition yeah it's very important of course you have to prepare well all mm -hmm. all repertoire but I think it's uh, very important the first very very first uh, round is very important I think okay and yeah. well, let's jump around a bit uh, where do you see yourself yeah. in 10 years time <laughs> um, well I you know I'm now 23 mm -hmm. and it's not like you know I don't want to become a uh, orchestra player or you know I because nowadays I play mostly uh, you know concerto recitals you know as stories yeah. that's incredible but I mean I like also to play uh, chamber music chamber music because uh, I play the viola too so chamber music is uh, for me it's very important to to have to have a good ear and uh you know to enjoy really to really enjoy the music uh, from inside you know yeah. you can you can really run uh, very well, very much you know if you see the the music score so when I started playing the chamber music, like uh, four years ago, mm -hmm. um, I started also uh, seeing seeing the music score on concertos. On okay. uh, yeah, it's very important. So chamber you know, music inspired people. you to look at other instrumentation. Very much, score very much, else. very much. Yeah. Exactly, it's mm -hmm. very very inspiring for me. And uh, yeah, as you said, in ten years, maybe I now I I still would like to continue what I'm doing now, mm -hmm. as you know, <clears throat> as I have still so much so much things to do, yeah. and uh, you know, so uh, you know, I have quite a big uh, concerto repertoire, but still a few pieces I really like to 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 study to to run and mm -hmm. to perform and uh, of course chamber music too but uh, you know as a soloist there are still uh, so much things for me to do yeah. but uh, I don't know maybe in ten years my my <laughs> my mind would change, change you know yeah, yeah. So, and, you know maybe I would uh, I would uh, uh, you know, take another audition for the concert master somewhere, and I don't know. Okay, and so, so why not orchestra? Um, exactly. Yeah, you know, it's I love, um, <clears throat> I love to listen to great symphonies, and uh, of course, I you know I was I am in Vienna sometimes, mm -hmm. and you have a great opera. Mm -hmm every day and uh, you know sometimes i go to see to watch to to listen to and you know some my father especially my father is a concert master of tokyo philharmonic wow and so you know um sometimes when i when i watch uh you know watch you know they enjoy really enjoying in the concert i i envy so much you know mm -hmm. wow that's that's what i don't have and this you know oh that that pianissimo i cannot make or, you know because the pianist they, because the pianissimo you know as soloist or the orchestra musician it's completely different you yeah know? exactly <laughs> so he, he yeah. sets a bar really high for you yeah 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 it's it's very nice um <laughs> I, I might have missed this before but i asked 
you I'm just wondering to clarify. Yeah. Did sorry. you say you don't want to be an orchestra? Is there a specific reason why? Oh no, no. It's a it's not like I don't want to be orchestra musicians, you know. I um just because I'm still you know, there are so much things left, you know, for me to uh you know what I really want to do. Gotcha. Okay. And yeah, right. and uh, you know, one day maybe I I would become a, a musician in orchestra, but you know, now I I'm not uh, <laughs> uh, maybe still you know thinking uh, to become an orchestra musician. Gotcha. Because it's just a time, yeah. Mm-hmm. And what's the worst advice that you've been given? <laughs> what the worst advice you've been given here yeah. um so not the best the the worst the, the worst asking. we can we can also talk about the best okay but, okay but what the worst advice <laughs> uh like you know not to go to to school you know even when you're very young not to go to school and just practice in the home whole day. That's oh, right. that that's the worst. <laughs> ah. Okay, there no. you go. And okay, what's the best advice? The best advice I can tell is uh, you know, to to see and to enjoy um, as much as many things you can. Mm-hmm. Because this these things, you know, these different things, you know, you you eat different great food, different, uh, you know, uh, movies, you watch different uh, paintings, uh, you know, different sports, you definitely find, I mean, I do myself, you definitely find uh, some, uh, you know, different uh, ideas, different uh, colors, uh, for your music, you know, mm-hmm. for your praying, this is very important. I I think, um, especially for all violinists, I can I can tell um, maximum five six hours a day, or maximum five hours to practice because you know the violin is it's so unnatural posture you have you know Mm. and this of course you want to pray if you like you know the violin you want to pray for a very very long time Mm -hmm. you know you know even when you become 80 90 100 Mm -hmm. you still want to pray good so this advice is i i had also um (laughs) you know from my mentors, like uh, uh, you know, my first teacher, Tukunaga, and also uh, uh, Pinkas Tukaman, you know, he also told me that. Um, you know, um, just use your brain. What they say, you know, just use your brain. That that's exactly yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you practice like hundred times, you know, wrong, then. <laughs> You then know, you're wrong. It's not, it's, yeah. it doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. You know, it's better ten times to practice uh, slowly, very correct. You know, it stays much longer. Mm-hmm. So this is my kind of philosophy, and I had uh, I had uh, very good uh, mm-hmm. teachers. I was very lucky that uh, gave me you know very good advices. You know. To, to become violinist, to, to become good violinist. Not, also, you know, not only to become good violinist, but good musician, you know. It's yeah. very different compliment. Mm-hmm. You know, good violinist or good musician, you know. And this is what, why I think they told me that I should do many different things, not only, you know, if you you know you feel like you are in a, in a small cage and you practice every day and you don't you don't have you know uh, any 
uh, communications with different people you know why it's <clears throat> it's so boring <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. I when I make uh, like uh, always my plan when I wake up I make my plan you know today uh, for example um, I you know I practice now two three hours mm-hmm. uh, you know with with ten minutes breaks you know like every one every one one hour I make uh, ten minutes. Break. Break so like you know like fifty minutes cycle yeah mm-hmm. so and then I you know sometimes uh, you know uh, go out you know to run around if, if, even when I'm you know at home and you mean go out to catch Pokemon <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. yeah maybe one day <laughs> yeah. sorry yeah. good guy. Yeah, 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 and uh, I really love to 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 hang out with friends, you know, and in different places, you know. For example, when I'm in Tokyo, I have my old friends, mm-hmm. and when I am in Vienna, I have uh, like my classmates there. Yeah. Uh, also, Vienna, you have a lot of musicians um, coming from all over. And also, no musicians, uh, you know, somehow I make. And uh, I have some good in- inspirations by, by, by really nice people. Yeah, right. So I recommend uh, uh, also uh, to young musicians, not only to practice a long time every day, but also it's nice to... To do different things, you know, it's you know you have only, uh, you know, only one life. Your low. Yeah. So they say. It's very. Yeah. Okay, just to respect your time, I'm gonna throw a few more questions in before we finish. Um, Okay, great. Yes. Is there anything you wish that would change in the classical music industry, or? It's completely... Definitely. <laughs> okay, and what? I think I think uh, many many of classical musicians think the same. But I, you know, of course, music is music. That you know, mm-hmm. uh, classical music is uh, so uh, beautiful that I think many of uh, non musicians. Uh, somehow listening on TV or on on the internet or you know on the uh, on the radio, um, definitely they are listening somehow, but they don't know what it is. Okay. So, um, I I like very much what you are doing. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, Appreciate on, it. Yeah, on the video. Yeah, yeah. You invite like uh, musicians to your video and you make funny. You know. You make it funny, but like truth. <laughs> yeah. You make like a musical, <laughs> you know, like classical musicians' truth. You know, yeah. like it's, it's a joke, nice jokes, and this is also very nice. And um, uh, of course, it's also important that we can invite many young people to 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 concerts. Mm-hmm. Uh, but how? So no, that's the question. Okay. Yeah, so <clears throat> um you know sometimes you know what I do now is um I'm now doing uh, I'm playing uh, main music for for the NHK. NHK is a Japanese uh, you know the biggest uh, uh TV um yeah. channel and they have uh now like they're showing uh a tv show drama mm-hmm. for for one year now and i'm playing on on this uh main main music main wow. theme music that's amazing so that that's very uh, I, I thought it's very nice because it's not like uh just you know a normal kind of movie you know you know like a cheesy music it's like yeah. um it's like a very nice music uh, written by uh 
uh, Mr. Hattori. He's mm-hmm. he's a kind of hit maker, mm-hmm. hit uh, maker in Japan, and uh, he wrote quite uh, very nice music, uh, you know, for vi- for solo violin and orchestra. So I played the I recorded this with NHK Symphony, mm-hmm. and uh, I think now um, you know like. I have uh, quite, uh, you know, kind of a response from uh, from very different size, you know, like like <clears throat> from the young generations that they're watching it, and also, uh, you know, the, because this TV drama is so uh, important for Japanese people. What is it called? But it's called uh, Sanadamaru. Sanadamaru. I can. Yeah, I can write you later. Yep, I'll put but in the show notes for everyone to see. Yeah, and I, I can also send you the link of the promotion video of this, you know, and it's it's a very, very nice music and that, you know, people can understand that, wow, the violin is, you know, quite a cool yeah. <laughs> instrument. Actually. So that's what I really, <clears throat> I think nowadays, I, you know, uh, as we have, internet (laughs) so i think it's very important to you know sometimes to do you know uh, these kinds of things connect to the other people that don't usually listen and yeah and uh, you know also to know instruments you know not only music but you know like violin cello or viola uh, you know even the winds you know they Mm. sometimes um, really really haven't uh, listen to really yeah. so I think it's nice to use the the internet as much as we can mm-hmm. uh, internet or you know all these uh, kind of uh, you know the things peop- all people can can see and listen yeah. so yeah it's great that you get to play because you know all those movies were fake violinists and musicians <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and you, they sometimes take like not really serious uh, yeah, missions. Yeah, it's maybe of yeah. actor playing an instrument. Yeah, it's yeah, completely yeah, yeah. out of sync. Yeah, and yeah. Like only only the sound sometimes uh, serious missions, but uh, you know, showing just the uh, actors. You know, yeah, the actors, they're on know, the G string not... and the music's on the E yeah, string. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that is something, yeah. guys. They should fix. Um, yeah, so okay. I think the idea you do your your videos and this uh, podcast it's very I I really um, respect that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, it's my pleasure. Doing. Okay, um, one last question: Have you ever yep. had an alcoholic drink before a concert? No, <laughs> no, you hesitated. <laughs> no, 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 okay. no, no, no. Um, okay, um it was uh, <laughs> uh, sometimes I, you know, think about, but okay. you know that maybe um, I I read one kind of article. On the newspaper, yeah. some doctor said, um, "Just you know, quite a strong alcohol, right? Like wines, not strong, but uh, wines, even wines, but yeah. uh, the cognac, or vodka, or these things. If you make one shot, uh, your brain really wakes up." <laughs> I read that okay. on the newspaper, uh, so that like I was like, "What? What the hell is that?" And then, no. <laughs> I could imagine and, uh, before an orchestra concert, there's the fifty bottles of vodka <laughs> for everyone <laughs> to come on stage. You're right. Yeah, yeah the, 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 that'll be quite oh, interesting my scene. Yeah. Never mm. before on stage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, if when you do, after, let me know. After you can party after. Uh, after definitely. Yeah, it's also nice, you know. It's it's also very important, you know. Yeah. Because you after a concert, you cannot really sleep. I I yeah, I think. 
you yeah, know you're, you're on a high adrenaline you're yeah, exactly you know your your eyes open like crazy and you can't really you know you're very exciting you mm -hmm. know <laughs> yeah so i think it's nice to 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 you to enjoy after concert you know the good 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 food good 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 alcohol and it's you know to 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 party a little bit yeah great guys all right thank you for yeah. what do you say what do you say no i said the contrast is very contrast. important you know? a bit of Just everything like, yeah balance yolo yeah, exactly. live life you know balance balance <laughs> yeah, yeah <right. laughs> okay well yeah. Bumiaki, what a pleasure to talk to you. Thank um, you, Brett. Yeah, I, I hope people, listeners, have gotten a lot out of this. Um, where can they find you online or if you have any? Um, yeah, I have uh, my uh, home page, but I have also, I think it's nice to to see my activities on Facebook. Okay, uh, so from I have fan page and I have Instagram, I have Twitter. So, I w yeah, I will just send you the links. Cool, so all under your name, right? Fumiyaki Miura? Under my name, yeah, exactly. Cool, I'll put right. them in the show notes as well. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, well, I was, thank you so much and I'll hopefully see you soon. I hope so too. Thank you very much. Hey guys, this is Brett again. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you want to hear more of these talks, subscribe and leave a comment. Also, don't forget to find the show notes at breadybang.com. Once again, thank you so much for listening.